Hello everybody, how is it going? So, today I just wanted to uh, talk about law and kind of what I've come up with for this upcoming format with uh, some new matchups, being in Rebecca, Queen, uh, Dofi, and uh, is there anyone else worth note? This is like, I think the main three new decks are the ones that are probably going to be meta contenders. And there is obviously, you know, Croc got some new stuff, Zoro's still going to be around, uh, Whitebeard will probably still be around. I don't, I don't know if he's going to get his cards off the list, but we'll definitely see. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly discuss kind of what I think cards that you can't change in this deck. Like, they're always, like, this is the core of law. Uh, I don't think um, you'll ever change these cards, and then we just have to kind of fill in the spots of cards that we think will be good into the mat the new matchups of the of the format so obviously for otama this card is just a 2k counter that is also just a removal spell <laughs> that might sound a little bit weird but going so wide is law and um just otama something and having like two to three swings into it pretty much means that you'll out it especially if it's like a 5k body and you already have some little searchers established and you have like your leader swing like reducing like a 5k to a 3k and then going like one dawn on Nami attack it. Like they're kind of forced to to let that go because you have your leader swing and you'll probably have like a Zoro swing. So Otama is very, very good. Um Yeah. Uh Nami, we can't cut this card down. Uh she finds half of our pieces and uh is a very proactive play early on, not having to tap her, so you don't have to worry about losing a body unless you're playing against Rebecca, but we'll we'll discuss Rebecca <laughs> later on. Uh, an amount of Zoro, it doesn't have to be 4 rush Zoro, just uh, minimum I'd say is like 2 max, obviously you could max out on 4, but uh, if you want to play the uh, the starter deck Zoro, which is very good into to Whitebeard, and you know, he's also just another play that you can play him down, and uh, kind of feels a bit better than like, because when you're, if you're playing this deck, and if you guys have played this deck, you know you'll just play rush Zoro and not attack with him, because you're not going to be able to defend him, and you don't want to you know, put him in danger, so sometimes it feels better playing this card down because it feels like you're getting a better body than if you just hard play a Rush Zoro and don't attack with him. But yeah, you definitely have to play some amount of the Rush Zoro. Uh, Dadon, this card is broken. Uh, a searcher that will find you your other searchers can find you, again, the quote-unquote removal spell, which is also a 2k counter, finds your blockers. Uh, Dadon is crazy. <laughs> um, also a 2 cost, which is very important in the Rebecca matchup, so... Yeah, card is nuts. Always has been. Um, four choppers. We need to play some amount of little blockers. Uh, I don't say Beggy is um is uh, in the same caliber because you really don't want to be adding Beggy off your Bonnie searches, but adding a chopper off Nami feels completely fine. So yeah, we're, we're I'd say it's mandatory four chopper. Maybe you could put him to three if you really want space for something else, but I think I think you keep him at four. Obviously, for Blocker Law, this is your top end, um, the best play the deck has, so uh, yeah, we're not cutting that down. Bonnie finds the best play of your deck, and uh, she can add herself. It, green green searchers are great, you know, you do have to tap them, but because you're Law, you can kind of abuse, uh, you know, having to tap them and just taking them back to hand, so yeah, Bonnie, obviously you're playing four. Uh, Restand Law, more of your late game plays where you can swing very big twice using your leader effect and like a Blocker Law or a Zoro. So, I play him. I almost always play him at four, because I don't think the other green five costs are worth playing over just a fourth one of this. Like X Drake is good sometimes. He's very situational. Basil feels way too greedy in this upcoming format, so I wouldn't play any of him. Uh, there's probably some other options, but I always go with four restand law because Howard has counter and the effect is great. Works really well with your leader. And uh, the one red beam. This card is stupid. We. We, it's at one we're gonna play one if it was at more than one i don't think i'd play more than two honestly so it being at one is fine uh yeah but this is kind of the core and i think every law deck you're gonna be playing these cards but uh let's go into what i have come up with excuse all of my deck lists uh so this is kind of what i was working with in uh going into the next format someone pointed out out to me in the comment section of i think one of the law videos that Sanji was a 2-drop, obviously he's a 2k counter, but he's very good against decks that are not going to hit your life, and uh, y yeah, <laughs> I mean, you don't even have to swing with them, you can literally just play them, take your life, because you know they're not going to, or they're going to try to starve you, so, very solid card, is a 2-drop, which is again, very important against Rebecca, if 
you guys don't know why it's important, it's because for our early plays, we want to go second in that matchup and we want to play on the even curve and dropping a two drop means that they won't be able to be destroyed for free basically. Like they need to be reduced and is a Rebecca really going to want to use an Orlumbus on a two cost to pop it? Probably not. So that's why two costs are very strong right now. Or at least into that matchup. Um, I'm playing three uh, like Luffy effect Namis. Uh, this card... I don't know if you guys have played with it. If you haven't, I'd definitely try it. Uh, it literally just feels like a free play sometimes. It's really nice. It's kind of like a Brook, but less committal. Uh, really solid card. Would definitely recommend. Also, it having counter is great. A bit unfortunate you can't search it off, you know, search your Nami, but we can still add it off to Dawn, so I think it's fine. I'm playing three 2k counter Brooks. Uh, this card is kind of also staple-ish. Uh, I'd say most laws play this. It's kind of just like a bigger version of the uh, <laughs> like Luffy effect Nami, but uh, not once per turn, rather just on play. But still a really good effect. Again, another quote-unquote free play when you're developing your board. Uh, we are playing the one Rush Luffy. I don't think you need this card. Um, it's nice when you don't have another Supernova to like combo with your Restand Law. It also does have the no blocker effect, which can cheese people. I think it's probably worth at least one slot. It's nice when you don't have any of your laws in hand and you play your Bonnie looking for one, but you miss and you have this card or you find this card. It feels a little bit better to like bounce into this than bounce into one of your Zoros. And speaking of Zoros, we are playing the starter deck Zoro. Uh, I think it's worth, again, playing some amount of this. I'm only playing two. I'm playing a 3-2 right now with the Zoros. And uh, I'm also playing Film Brook, so I did want to have a higher number of Zoros. So I think five is an okay number for only playing three Brook. But yeah, again, it feels good dropping this when you don't want to swing with your Zoro. So that's the that's why there's less of him, because a lot of the time you do want to play your Zoro and attack like later on. But for the early game, this is a nice play. And I'm actually playing two killer blockers over what I think normally would be the veggie slot. Again, I was talking about two drops. It's very good for Rebecca, but it also kind of fits how I like to play Law, and I know a lot of people play Law a similar way, is that during your turn, you'll usually save one or two extra Dawn for your, like, in case you get hit by a trigger while you're swinging, and then you can just, like, play a one drop and still leader effect and don't have to worry about it. But if all goes well and you have Killer on board, and you have an extra Dawn. Uh, before it was fixed by like having a Radical Beam, but it's at 1, so you're not always going to have it. So you can just always put that Dawn on Killer, and then uh, he'll be a block that'll just replace himself in hand. So, uh, really nice card. Also having Counter is super cool. I talked about it a bit earlier, but we are playing the Film Brook. Another Rebecca tech, I think, uh, is going to be really nice when you can go like, on your going second against Rebecca, you play the Sanji, they can't pop him for free. Then your turn two, you play Brook into one of your Zoros, and you're still just chilling. They can't pop anything for free, and uh, will kind of help you get into that leader effect very quick, and uh, that is very good. And then the rest is just pretty much from the core, four Bonnies, four Restand Laws, the one Beam. Uh, yeah, this is what I've come up with. If you guys have any ideas for the deck, any interesting tech choices, let me know. I did cut the uh, the film chopper. I just didn't find it, find it getting enough value, and I think the Sanji will just get more value. Sure, he was a green card, and sometimes you like to have green cards, but I feel like Brook just kind of serves his purpose a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so there is the deck list if you guys want it. If you have any ideas, let me know. Thank you guys for watching.